Hey guys, good morning. This is a really quick word. I'm just gonna make some coffee real quick and get back to work, but last night, guys, what cup do I wanna use? Ugh. I'm gonna use Cultivate Kindness because some of y'all be getting on my nerves and I be like, Arr! okay. So, <laughs> so um, last night, guys, I was getting ready to go to bed and I heard the Lord say Exodus, 10 11 exodus 10 11 right and i was so tired last night i went to my bible app and kind of like left it on my phone so that i can remember what the lord said but i heard him say exodus 10 11. so when i woke up this morning i read exodus 10 and exodus 11 and you guys know throughout both of those chapters the lord is sending moses to Pharaoh basically saying, let my people go. Pharaoh keeps saying no, but then the Lord will send like something Pharaoh's way, like locusts and different things, plagues. And he'll be like, okay, take your people. But then Moses will go back again and Pharaoh's heart, his heart will be hardened and he'll be like, nah, like you can't have them. It was kind of like Pharaoh was double-minded, but it wasn't Pharaoh. It was the Lord hardening Pharaoh's heart. And every time in scripture, that Pharaoh would have this double-minded state where he's like, okay, take them. Then he's like, no, you can't take them. It was because the Lord was hardening his heart. The Lord was hardening his heart, right? And many of us have already read this before, but several of you guys went through that situation, whether it was with a God-ordained spouse or family members or whoever, that the Lord told you they're going to help you get to this place or do this and they're going to do their part and you would go into it and then stuff would backfire and you're like, God, did I hear you wrong? For most of these people, the Lord was hardening this person's heart or these people's heart. It wasn't that you heard wrong. Um, it was the Lord hardening their heart so that he can get the glory out of the situation. Okay, so I'm not going to get too deep into it because I really want you guys to um, sit with, hold on guys my coffee i really want you guys to sit with the lord yourself and ask him what this means for you but feast of tabernacles and esther is what the lord told me back in april i just released the word last week about the feast of tabernacles and many of you crossing over the brook right i just released that word and the lord is speaking so loudly about so many of you guys just crossing over crossing over into the brook crossing over the brook, the well that never runs dry. But many of you guys, you're going to see a complete change in this person or these people that you thought they're double-minded, Lord, or I'm hearing you wrong, or I don't understand because nothing's working out this way. But it was the Lord hardening their hearts. And it's so that he can get the ultimate glory. Um, and I know this has been such a crazy ride for each and every one of you. Take this how it resonates with you guys. Notice I'm not getting into detail who it's for, what group of people. That's between you and the Lord. My face is itching, Holy Spirit. But I just wanted to get on here and share that with you guys. Um, I heard the Lord say Exodus. And you guys, Exodus means to exit, basically. I heard the Lord say Exodus 10, 11. Read Exodus 10, 11, guys. Um, but also for me, it wasn't just uh, Exodus 10, 11. 10, 11, the date is also significant for me because 10, 11 of 2020 was when the Lord gave me a dream and told me to stand for my marriage. You guys know I'm no longer a stander and I've chosen a new love story, but that was that's a very significant date for me. And 10, 11 is actually the date of my nephew Jeremiah's birthday. And the name Jeremiah, one of the meanings is the one who I ordained, the one who I appointed. Okay, and 10, 11 is tomorrow, but today is 10, 10. Today starts the full, the full first day of Sukkot, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. And the Lord is saying celebrate for so many of you guys, but read Exodus 10 and 11. For some of you, 10, 11 is also significant, but read Exodus 10 and 11 and just allow, <laughs> Aloy, just allow the Lord to minister to you about what it means to you. But Exodus means to exit, guys. And so many of you guys have exited your Egypt and you are crossing over into your promised land. Whatever that looks like for you, we're all in um, different areas of life. We're all in different seasons. 
um, and everyone's exodus is not the same. Everyone's promised land is not going to look the same. But as long as you said yes to God and you're on his side and you're letting him lead, you're doing well, okay? <laughs> All goes well for you. Um, so again, I heard the Lord say Exodus 10, 11. I woke up this morning and I read Exodus 10, 11 and just had my devotional time with the Lord. And that's something that he allowed me to see in Exodus 10 and 11 was the double-mindedness that was going on with Pharaoh. But again, the Lord was the one that kept hardening his heart. When Pharaoh would be like, Moses, take these people, the Lord would harden his heart. And, and he did this quite a few times. Um, so it was the Lord hardening his heart. It wasn't Pharaoh hardening his own heart, but the Lord was doing that so that he can get the ultimate glory out of the situation. And so that everyone would know that God is our God. He is the Lord of Lord, the Kings of Kings. He runs the show. Okay. It doesn't matter who says no or what they try to sweep under the rug or push away or hold on to. When the Lord has plans in place, it's his plans that will stand. Okay. It's crossover. It's harvest for so many of us. Celebrate guys, but really sit down today, read Exodus 10 and Exodus 11, and just allow God to minister to you as far as what that means for you guys. I love you. Have a blessed Monday. Um, even to the little minions out there, have a great day, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to cultivate kindness over here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to release that word to you guys. I love y'all. 